Hi guys, this is JD with the uh, Pinkney Custom Shop again. Um, so I've just built this base. I've already played a couple of gigs on it. Uh, so this is actually, uh, at this point, it's a used base. But um, I'd be taking orders on bases like this uh, if you want. So what, what it is, the, the concept, Obviously, it's like a, a Steinberger style base, um, but the concept of this was, well, I'm going to be doing a, a gig in Hawaii, a couple of gigs uh, over there, So, and I didn't want a, a lot of hassle, I didn't want to have to worry about, um, about uh, like baggage issues and baggage claim issues and all that kind of stuff, so I want to see if I can build a base that will fit uh, in a carry-on bag so I haven't actually done this demo yet this would be the first time actually doing the the demo of uh, disassembling and reassembling I'm gonna do some sound samples later on so I'll add those I'll either it'll be either be a separate video or part of this video but um, so I'm gonna get started so what's required for this, this is actually a gun case. This uh, only cost me like 20 bucks and it fits the base perfectly. And um, I looked up Steinberger cases and they're really expensive, they're like 70 bucks. I think there's a spirit case available for, I don't know, around 50 bucks, but 20 bucks, you know, can't read it. So, um, and then also the other thing I did was I bought a, uh, so in order for this to fit in a carry-on bag, it can't be one of those kinds of wheels because the wheels add like a couple of inches or subtract a couple of inches of interior space for the bag. So what I did was I picked up this, what it is, it's a carry-on backpack and it's like a, a maximum capacity carry-on backpack. So what I'll be doing for the first time is disassembling this, sticking it, sticking it in the carry-on backpack, and then I'll be reassembling, and I may end up fast-forwarding through some things, but uh, you'll be able to get the gist. And it shouldn't be that complicated. So, so what I have here are the, the three uh, hex wrenches. So one of them fits the bridge, one of fits the nut, and then the other one, what I've done to bolt on the neck is I've, put, I've used uh, threaded inserts and, uh, and hex and some uh, hex screws. So that's, that's the key right there is the hex screw. So you don't have to carry a screwdriver you don't have to deal with the, you know, the screwdriver while you're, you know. So first, let me loosen up the strings. So I probably want to first take off the strings. I'm not going to dis. I'm not going to take them off the nut. I'm going to just take them off the bridge. I'm 
Tight, but it fits. Okay. So I wonder if the base of the body will fit into the compartment. It's like a computer compartment in this bag. Maybe this front. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so now I have a whole base inside this carry-on bag. Now I wonder if there's a place to put this bag. I could still fit clothes in there. Yeah, there's plenty of room for clothes still. Plus all these other compartments. I don't know if you... <laughs> the angle's right, but look. Okay, so I have all these other... So the, the base body's here. I still got compartments. Can you see that? There's still, still room in here for stuff. Compartments here. I think there's another compartment in the back. Inside a carry on backpack. I still have compartments back here for more luggage. Throw stuff in there. And it goes this way. Forget my strap and my two my uh, parts, other parts. There you go. Can you see that? Okay. So these parts will obviously go inside there too. So let me reverse the process. Body, all the parts still intact. Here's the neck. Here's my gig bag. The machine gun case. My carry on backpack. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if I'm
I'll go ahead and do a rough tune on it. So, what I'm going to do next is I'll make you some sound samples. Alrighty? <laughs> Promised, uh, I'm uh, recording some sound samples of the, of the headless uh, treble bass, which is turning out to be my main gig bass. Uh, I've played it a couple gigs already, and I'm digging it a lot. This looks for goodness, bother me. There we go. Okay, so details. Oh, we got a maple neck. It's got some curls in it. You can see. I got a bloodwood fingerboard with some um, medium, medium jumbo. So I think they're called medium wide or Delano pickups. These Delanos, I'm really surprised. This is my first time using them. They're really great sounding pickups. They're, I'm, they're actually surprisingly. Incredible. <laughs> um, tuners are these uh, Amazon tuners. Gunther, Guther, Guther, Gunther. Um, they're adequate. They're not. They're not super high end, but they they do the trick. They do the job. Uh, audio preamp. This the little baby audio preamp. It's only got two bands. It's only got three holes. Because um, of my minimalist, minimalist design, but you know what? I dig them a lot. I really dig this pickup, uh, this preamp. Just I like it even more than my other uh, deers with a, like three and four band pickups. I mean preamps or EQs. Um, it's just they just sound great in any position. It's it's pretty cool. And then let's see. I can get this off. Oh, oh gotta take the headphones. And then of course on the back. I installed one of these magnetic uh pickup or preamp uh, control covers. There's still sawdust in there. <laughs> so of course, it just pops right in like that. So that's cool. Now, right now I have to pick up everything set flat, set dead center, because uh, the volume is all the way up. 
<laughs> so the audio preamp, uh, the, the little one with the two bands, um, takes up almost no space. And if I set it flat, it's, it's, you can tell, I mean, it, it doesn't actually have a mid control, mid boost, but if you want the boot mid boosted, all you do is turn everything else down. And now you got high, you got boosted mids. And then if you want scooped mids, you just turn everything else up, up all the way. So when I mix it, I'm going to compensate for the difference in volume, just to give you an idea. So obviously there's a lot of boost when I boost this, but you know, if you want the mids to come out, you just, like I said, turn down the bass and, and treble, and then just crank your volume, which I'm going to do. I'll do it, I'll do it in the mix. <laughs> sound p-bassy because i don't think i've installed the pickup really in the p-bass location it's more it's sort of more towards the bridge p-bass probably would have been right around here i think it still has a lot of character I kind of like the tone of it when it's slightly when when I have it not dead center but sort of favoring the the, ne the neck pickup a little bit. So not full bass, but a little bit more than center, and then treble, maybe full treble or a little slightly less than full treble. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's it. That is the... I call it the um, Atlas Travel Base. So, if you want one, then uh, call me. And also, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, guys, take care.